Back on, ladies and gentlemen, it's a landmark uh, verdict in the Madras High Court that has ruled that it has ruled it open for a Muslim woman to exercise her inalienable right to dissolve a marriage by khula, which are divorce proceedings initiated by a wife. Now, in this case, the wife had approached a family court, and uh, that is the Sharia Council. There is a process, a detailed process, as far as khula is concerned. But what the court ruled is that family councils, Sharia councils, private bodies cannot pronounce or certify the dissolution of a marriage by Kula as they are not courts or arbitrators of dispute. The court ruled on a writ petition by a person who sought the quashing of this Kula certificate that was issued to his wife in 2017 by a Sharia council. Yes, in the process of Kula, it's not instant. There is a rigor that is uh, that they go through. But what the court has turned around and said is, personal law has to be set aside. It directed the petitioner and his wife to approach the Tamil Nadu Legal Services Authority or a family court to resolve their dispute. Many activists are hailing the move, calling it a push towards legal uniformity. The tone being set for a common code. Not just regressive personal laws, but the fact is that my personal law or what I believe is personal law cannot be higher than what the law is mandated as with constitution because the law has to see everyone equally. So if an instant teen talaq should not be allowed, then should a khula also be not allowed? Because there has to be equanimity and there has to be a common code. So let's have a look at what exactly the Madras High Court order said. The Shariat Council are neither courts nor arbitrators, it said. It also said Shariat Council can't certify dissolution of marriage by khula. Muslim women can approach only family courts for divorce, and courts have also frowned upon such practices, other courts. And many would say, does this uh, open a Pandora's box or does it just set the tone that the courts largely across the country are saying, don't use personal law when convenient, don't use the constitution or law as per mandated as the Indian Penal Code when convenient, just let's stick to one, a common code. So that's the whole idea. So what does it do, this judgment? It sets the precedent of holding Sharia councils invalid. Decisions by Muslim bodies can be overturned by law and equality for both men and women in the eyes of the law. That's the most important part. It sets the stage for debate on perhaps now moving fast to a common code. Let's go straight across. A big step towards common code is the question that we are asking, ladies and gentlemen. Ashwini Upadhyay, Advocate Supreme Court is with us and Nigat Abbas, activist with us. Let me, let me start with Nigat Abbas. Many, many would say that the process of Khula itself is so long, so thing. So you'll also turn around and ask that this man first went to the Shariat court. He didn't say, I don't want to go through the Sharia. There the uh, verdict was against him. So he said, okay, let me go to the court. This is very convenient for both sides. First, we'll I go to the I... Sharia court. Then, if we don't get there, let's go to the... And this is not just with the Muslim community. With across communities, this happens. Where they try to I... pit personal law with the constitution. Or the Absolutely. penal court. And I, and I really think that, think that these revolutionary decisions need to come and need to overtake the entire country's population's decision of just... Uh, taking things very lightly and easily. This is very important when we are carrying forward with the policies like, uh, you know, schemes and policies like uh, which is working on the equality on the gender basis. It's really important for all of us to come on the same path, on the same panel and be assured that equality is, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's about the law and the law has to justify that everybody is getting equal rights either uh, it's, a, it's a male or a female or coming from any community or caste color or key, that that doesn't really have to do anything with uh, within the system mm -hmm. i really think this will this is these are the kind of decision which will, which are going to take the communities which are the backward communities ahead and are, are also kind of going to kind of uh, you know bash the orthodox mentality of the people this is really important when we talk about the uniform civil code ashwini ji is here he can obviously tell you yeah. better about 
for we both are the petitioners me because ashwini ji has given me that chance so this is really important that we are working towards the uniformity now so that everybody is equal no one no one is above the law and most importantly everybody has the rights which which is which is very which are the basic rights like say about triple talaq which was bashed now khula and there are a number of things in several communities not only muslims which which are supposed to be bashed and are coming from the orthodox mentality from the ancient times hmm. we need to re- clear them so that there are no victims because when we talking about triple talaq or khula we we see a lot of victims coming and crying even in the debates anand we have we've been in the panel discussions together during the triple talaq uh, you know time and we've seen people uh, uh, you know women coming there and crying with their children that they did not get ju- justice why because there was no equality in the terms of community and in the terms see, of see equality as a is a, as an aspect yes uh, a lot of times what happens is that a, a lot of personal laws a lot of uh, you know traditions may be lopsided against women but the law does not see man and woman the law sees in terms of have you been able to make a case and whether your your argument merits and that's how the law looks at it and that's why there has to be equality so uh, many would turn around and say woman got divorced now she's not going to get divorced she'll have to go through the whole rigor and family but, but the man did not want divorce earlier in the case of triple talaq the women did not want separation the man used personal law as an easy way to get rid of or 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 or, or uh, break free so ashwini ji somewhere courts are sending a very strong message the courts are sending a message saying walk on the path of common code at the earliest you have multiple petitions in the court on various aspects of of personal law dekhiye pehle anand <coughs> Hmm. किसी भी देश का संविधान वहां के रीति रिवाज वहां की प्रथा वहां के कस्टम उसको प्रमोट और प्रोपोगेट करने के लिए होता है तो भारत का संविधान भारतीय रीति रिवाज भारतीय परंपरा भारतीय पहनावा भारतीय खानपान उसको प्रमोट और प्रोपोगेट करता है भारतीय भाषा को प्रमोट प्रोपोगेट करता है विदेशी पहनावा विदेशी रीति रिवाज विदेशी मजहब को प्रमोट प्रोपोगेट करने के लिए भारत का संविधान नहीं है हाँ आर्टिकल पच्चीस कहता है सबको समान अधिकार है समान धार्मिक अधिकार है लेकिन धर्म पालन का अधिकार है धर्मांतरण का नहीं रीतियों को पालन करने का अधिकार है कुरीतियों को नहीं प्रथा को फॉलो करने का राइट है कुप्रथा को नहीं और प्रथा में भी कौन सी भारतीय प्रथा या विदेशी प्रथा भारतीय प्रथा को पालन करने का अधिकार है विदेशी प्रथा को नहीं भारतीय रीतियों को पालन करने का अधिकार है विदेशी रीतियों का नहीं तो इसलिए मैं कहता हूं कि भारत की तो जो परंपरा है वह नारी तू नारायणी है अब जब भारत की परंपरा नारी तू नारायणी है तो फिर ऐसे कंडीशन में तलाके हसन तलाके बिद्दत तलाके एहसन तलाके सुन्नत तलाके बाइन तलाके किनाया निकाह हलाला निकाह मुता निकाह मिसार तहरुस ये सब भारत की नहीं है ये तो जाहिलों का काम था जो हलाला करते थे मुताह करते थे मिसार करते थे तहरुस करते थे और खत पता नहीं क्या क्या करते थे ये भारत की परंपरा नहीं है और भारत के रहने वालों को समझना चाहिए कि 500 साल पहले यहां कोई सारे के सारे हिंदू थे निगत अब्बास बैठी हैं। दो जनरेशन तीन जनरेशन पहले हो सकता है ये मेरी मौसी की बेटी हो मैं तो इसको आज भी अपनी बहन मानता हूं लेकिन मेरा मानना है कि तीन जनरेशन पहले हो सकता है मेरी बुआ की लड़की होगी या मेरे मौसा की लड़की होगी या मेरे फूफा की लड़की होगी तो हम सब सारे भाई बहन है यहाँ पे भारत में तो एक्चुअल में अस्सी हिंदू है ट्वेंटी जो अपने आप को हिंदू नहीं मानते एक्चुअल में कन्वर्टेड हिंदू है मुस्लिम तो कोई है ही नहीं यहाँ पे चाहे वो चंगेज हो चाहे बहलो हो चाहे ये, ये, हो चाहे हो चाहे गोली हो चाहे अलग पर ये अलग लेवल पे उनके बच्चे यहाँ उनके किसी के बच्चे नहीं देखे ये इस मैं आता हूँ विषय हाँ जी हाँ विषय पे जी नहीं नहीं मैं मैं अब आप मैं आपका जो पॉइंट है उस पर आता हूँ देखिये बड़ी सीधी सी बात है एक सोच है एक हम द्वितीय नास्ती दूसरी सोच कहती है सबका साथ सबका विकास सब समान है तो जब हम भारत में कहते हैं संविधान है संविधान को अगर आप उसको सम विधान हाँ। ऐसा विधान जो सबके लिए समान लागू हो तो जब सबके लिए समान लागू हो तो तलाक लेने की प्रक्रिया एक होनी चाहिए तलाक लेने का ग्राउंड एक होना चाहिए तलाक कोर्ट के जरिए सबका होना चाहिए अगर मौखिक है तो सबका मौखिक मेरे को लगता है ये अलग अलग नहीं चलना चाहिए और मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि दो में ये पर्सनल लॉ खत्म होगा हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट भी खत्म होगा मुस्लिम मैरिज एक्ट भी खत्म होगा पारसी मैरिज एक्ट भी खत्म होगा क्रिश्चियन मैरिज एक्ट भी खत्म होगा सब खत्म होंगे और इस देश में इंडियन पिनल कोड की तर्ज पे एक इंडियन सिविल कोड आएगा मैं आप उसको कॉमन सिविल कोड कहते हैं या यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड कहते हैं मैं उसको इंडियन सिविल कोड कहता हूं 
इंडियन पिनल कोड पहले से है एक इंडियन सिविल कोड की जरूरत है देश की सभी बहन बेटियों को इक्वल राइट होना चाहिए वो बेटी हिंदू की हो या मुस्लिम की हो पारसी की हो या ईसाई की हो मैं बस यहाँ पर यही कह रहा हूं देखिए बस अब बात खत्म कर रहा हूँ जी टेन सेकंड टेन सेकंड बे, बेटी किसी की हो बेटी किसी की हो शादी विवाह की उम्र समान होनी चाहिए गुजारा भत्ता सभी बेटियों को मिलना चाहिए विरासत का अधिकार सबको मिलना चाहिए वसीयत का अधिकार सबको मिलना चाहिए मैं बस इतना कहूंगा मैं आपकी सारी बातों मैं आपकी पोषण का अधिकार सबको मिलना सबको मिलना चाहिए सिर्फ बेटियों की बात ना करें बेटों का भी उतना ही अधिकार कानून पर होना चाहिए जितना बेटियों का है और कानून की नजर में बेटा बेटी दोनों की नजरें सेम होनी चाहिए चाहे वो तलाक हो चाहे वो इनहेरिटेंस हो चाहे वो कोई भी बात हो इट हैज टू बी इक्वल gender neutral that's what i am trying to say that it gender cannot neutral. be that certain aspect you, law cannot be lop sided neutral. in favor of anybody thank you ashwini ji have run out of time nigat abbas thank you very very much we'll follow the developments very closely but the court seem to have set the tone with that it's a wrap of this edition of the right stand